I just wanted to do a quick video here. Uh, so this is the Auto Sim Pro. This is the new one. Uh, I believe they had an Auto Sim. Uh, this is from uh, Auto Ditex. There's a web address there. You can get it from AES Wave, etc. Uh, so the way it works is we have a positive and negative lead, and that comes right out of the top of the Auto Sim. You can see where it's plugged into right next to power. Uh, it's not power out, but it's plugged in right next to it. Uh, and then you see sout, which is signal out. So one's power out, one's signal out. All right, and then uh, so basically what happens is you hooked up to battery positive, battery negative, and then you get your two leads. So you get a negative and positive, or um, sometimes it's not negative and positive, depending on what you're doing, what sensor you're on. Uh, if you're on a two wire, say ABS, etc., cetera, uh, produces a sine wave. So uh, I just kind of want to show you the start of this. I'm gonna show you some sensors that we can actually uh, simulate. And uh, the reason for this, the reason why you'd want to have this, uh, just kind of to get to the point is, you want to check your wiring integrity, right? So you have a sensor that you think needs to be replaced, but you don't know if, it, if the sensor is bad or what. Well, with this, what happens is you kind of bypass the sensor and let's say you're at the TCM or PCM or whatever, uh, you're bypassing the sensor and you're going directly to the computer and then you can get it on your scan tool and you can see, you know, if you, know, if you put a sine wave on your, say, I don't know, your speed sensor. You can see the RPMs uh, coming out of it on your scan tool. It doesn't matter if it's the right RPMs or or if it's the wrong ones. It, it just matters that you're getting a signal. So uh, don't put too much uh, stock into the actual numbers of what's coming out of this, all right, and what's being simulated. Uh, all you're trying to do is really get, I mean, you can get down in detail. You can get, you know, uh, the amount of teeth on a flywheel and, you know, plus one or whatever. Uh, but the, 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 the whole reason why I bought this anyway is so I can simulate sensors so that I know 100% that the sensor is bad rather than going and buying expensive sensors and trying to put them in. Uh, you know, and all of a sudden it's, it's, a, it's a, you have a, a bad ground or uh, one of your wires is torn or whatever. So this is going to save you a lot of money and a lot of time, a lot of ag aggravation. So I'm going to go through this. So it has a sensor sim, which will simulate your crank sensor, your lambda, and your knock. All right, so you get those three sensors. All right, and go back, and then you get your generator, uh, which is you got your square wave. You can change the uh, peak one, peak two. So basically, the top of the square wave, the bottom, how how often the frequency is in the duty, whether it's on or off. All right, so you got uh, square, sine, same thing. Amplitude, offset frequency, um, sawtooth, which I don't think is used all that much. Could be wrong, but you get the star in the end, and then the frequency, and then triangle, which is almost like sawtooth. All right. <clears throat> so and then at the bottom, you can see you got signal off, power off. So you can put signal or power to either one of these, okay? Um, same thing if you're... Uh, you know, you're in here, you got signal off and power off. Uh, so if you're trying to power a crank sensor or check the power, or you're just trying to check a signal. So depending on what you're trying to check, that's what you're going to use. Okay. So I just kind of wanted to run through the tool so that you kind of knew what was going on beforehand. Um, and then you got uh, power sim, you know, if you're trying to do injectors or whatever, so you can simulate injectors. All right. And then you got pulse. So you have uh, signal pulse and power pulse, and then DC out, which is just DC voltage. Uh, I believe this goes up to four volts max. All right, and then you got your settings, and this is basically your language, your setup, your calibration, um, yada, 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 all the uh, other information in here. So, uh, so that's it. We're going to get into the testing portion of this so we can actually show you uh, what this tool is going to do. So... I think I'm gonna do uh, different videos. I'm not gonna make them too long. I wanna make this the start of it. And then what I'll do is I'll show you one signal on here and then uh, we're gonna do a series of signals. So I wanna put each signal or each sensor on its own video. Um, so that way you can see it kind of as a series. And I wanna show you the way where I'm hooking it up and how to use it. Cause a lot of videos you see these in, 
you know, they're like, all right, yeah, well, uh, let's just get onto uh, this uh, generator and we'll generate a pulse and boom, and, and that's it, it's done. You don't know where the wires are hooked up. Uh, you don't know how to turn a tool on, any of it. So uh, that was my main purpose for getting this tool and wanting to show this stuff is so that people, uh, I can really dumb it down and really get into it to show you exactly how it's done. So um, so we'll go from here and we're going to, uh, I guess we'll do uh, ABS sensor or crank sensor. Yeah, next. ABS. U-test kit. So this basically has everything you need to test what we're doing, all right? So by the looks of it, I think the blue ones will fit our application uh, pretty nicely. So we'll grab uh, we'll grab two of these. We just need the signal and the power. That's it. So we're gonna use the uh, 3.0. So so it did. It fit nicely in there. So we got the middle one is the ground, and the uh, the one on the top is the the power here. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is uh, connect the AutoSim Pro to it now. So we have the ground on the ground and the power on the power, and we're gonna go to our AutoSim Pro. And we're gonna hook this up here. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in. All right, we're gonna plug this in and uh, get the scan to the breakout box. One thing about this I like is uh, the voltage is here, 12.4. And then we have our launch connected to the end of the breakout box and then into the DLC, all right? One reason for that is I know if we ever get a voltage spike or high voltage, it's not gonna fry out my OBD or my uh, VCI here. So, all right, let's get to the data pins. So we're waiting for the scan tool. So we have our crankshaft right here. So we click on that. And then uh, we have our signal right there. Orange is signal and blue is ground. So we're gonna go ahead, 16 pin. Okay, USA. Okay. Here we go. We're going to go to uh, system selection. Go to ECM. Go to read data stream. And we're going to look for uh, camshaft. I'm sorry, crankshaft. Okay. All right. All right, so let me recap for you here. So this wire is off of the sensor. You can see the sensor down here. I don't, well, let me see. See the sensors pulled off of there, the black black sensor there. That's the crank sensor. It's a three wire Hall effect. All right, so we're in the signal wire and, the, and we're on the ground. So we got signal and ground, all right? So, let me go back again because I can't remember where I left off. But, so this is where we are. We're going to go to sig uh, sensor sim. So, we're going to simulate the sensor. Click on that, and I'm just clicking the middle button here. Crankshaft. And because it's Hall Effect, and this is in your service data if you're not unsure wh what it is. All right, so... 58 teeth, two missing teeth. That's the opening. Uh, we got a 12 volt peak and a zero volt drop. So that's the bottom peak. So top and bottom. So it's Hall effect. We're at about 900 RPMs, okay? So the way you're gonna verify this, and then we have our power on both. So we have a power on our ground, right? And again, here's, we're connected to signal out and we have a power in there, okay? Now, when you pull up your scan tool, you're gonna see engine speed data, okay? So I just grabbed that PID, uh, just so you can kind of see, and I'll graph it, I guess, to make it a little easier. And then, you know what? I'm gonna see if, I'll just graph it that way. All right, so, see if I can get both of these in here. So what you wanna do is, you wanna turn your output control on, and now you see, it's got signal out, so we're gonna push off. As, See, it's almost starting the engine. There you go. 
So we're gonna turn the output on, output on again and we're gonna shut it off. And there it drops off. So now we know our signal's working fine. The engine speed doesn't really matter. Um, so don't worry about that. You're just checking the circuit integrity here. Again, only the wires. You wanna make sure there's no break or nothing's getting shorted out. That's it, that's the only purpose for this test right now, okay? You can use this for a lot of other things, but again, I just wanted to kind of get this in here and just so you can see what it can do. All right, I'll have more videos. I'll do ABS sensors, I'll do oxygen sensors. I'll do as many sensors as I can find on here. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to, to get a good start on this and show you guys, all right? So if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. Let me know, but uh, this AutoSim Pro is, is awesome. If you don't have this, this is a must have. It's gonna save you a lot of time. Now I know my sensor's working, or if it's not, then I know it's the sensor and not the wire, so. Uh, but that's it, guys, on the first one. I'll catch you on the next one. If you guys have any input or any comments on what you want me to do or what you want me to show as far as sensors go, uh, maybe Lambda, oxygen sensors, whatever, let me know. All right, guys, thank you. Uh, just some extra bonus material. This is a new code assist that shows up on the launch. I'm not sure if it's on the China launch brand, but it's definitely on the USA brand and it's called code assist. All right, so we hit code assist and what's gonna hop up is just some uh, data that you could use to possibly help you diagnose your, your issues. So uh, we got replace uh, crank position sensor. Uh, gives you some part numbers, potential causes, ground circuit is open, sensor have failed. Uh, in the description of it. So it's pretty cool. Uh, we got another one over here. So we got a volume, mass volume. So I just wanted to kind of show you this as some bonus material for this uh, launch. So pretty, pretty slick. All right, I'm out of here for good guys. Take it easy.